All right. So what's the disagreement? Well, like, okay, you were commenting earlier about how men essentially, like, develop the world. And that's true. I would agree with that to an extent. What I would ask, though, is... To an extent? Well, yes, but I would add, I would add to that to say that I think that... Well, I don't think, but men also have contributed to, like, a lot of other groups not being able to contribute to the development of civilization for example like women couldn't vote women couldn't own property women couldn't like be a part of certain professions so? and that was okay in large oh, okay part okay by... okay hold on hold on hold on hold on do women have it better today than they've ever had it right no but i'm 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 talking uh, yes okay are you okay what are women not able to do today Well, I wasn't talking about now. I was, I was. Well, ma'am, this is the time we live in. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm contributing to your point about how men create to the world. I'm, yes. I'm saying that there's a back, there's a background to that. I, I don't think it's accurate to just make those general statements. Yes, without... it is accurate. Who created the world, men or women? But I'm saying that those, I'm saying that those men, those same men created systems and laws and norms. So to prevent what? Women there's from always going to be war. There's conflict is part of the human condition. You're 26. A hundred, a thousand years ago, most men died in what? In wars. Thank you. Do we have those? Not as much anymore, no. No. So the arguments you're making is men have made structures. Men have also civilized the world in general to where you can do anything you want to almost as a woman and walk down the street. If you decided to get in your car and drive to the local convenience store. I mean, to some extent, women There's no to some extent. Role. There is no to some extent. Women you fought are, for that to some extent. You, are, you didn't fight for shit. We gave it to you. Women, women, women didn't fight for, we gave it to, rights. we gave women it to you. Women, women didn't fight for, fight we for gave rights. it to it you. Suffrage was a man, men gave you the right to vote. You didn't fight for shit. It was given to you. History is a, is a tricky thing, ma'am. They can say they fought, you asked, and we gave it. Okay, ma'am. Can I if you want to have a conversation, if you want to, no, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. You can't over talk me. You can't over fucking talk me. That won't work. That is one thing. It says in the instructions. See, that's when I start to get like tyrannical. Why do you think you can over talk me? I don't understand why y'all think that's going to be okay. Make your point. Just trying to make the point. So then, according to your argument, then that means that in slave slaves did not fight for their freedom either. White people just gave it to them. They didn't. That's right. So you believe that? Uh, yes. What sl slaves rebelled? But did they? The Haitians had excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Facts are stubborn things. Until the Emancipation Proclamation was signed in the 13th Amendment, it doesn't matter how many Nat Turner rebellions happen. Facts are stubborn things. Prior to the suffrage, women had suffrage movements and women have been fighting for the right to vote since we had a constitution. Until you were given the rights by who? Well, then that's exactly my point. Yes, you were given. You didn't fight for but them. I'm saying that that's exactly my point, though. My point is that a lot. I, I just think that it's like you make these broad generalizations without taking Bro into consideration. Broad general. Okay, what is a broad generalization? What is a generalization? Like the things you were saying to the woman earlier about oh, men did this, men did that. Whatever. No, 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 no. What is a generalization? Define what a generalization is. When you just make a statement that is like broad in, in its kind of scope. What is a, okay. Uh, uh, somebody did not want to give her help because I don't think she's getting it. Is a general, a generalization. Do you know what a generalization is? 
when you said earlier, this is what generalization, a general statement or a concept determined by inference or a specific case. Action of generalizing. That means you make a broad statement about a topic because broad. it's, excuse me, that, and you told me that if you will fucking over talk me one more time, I'm going to have to drop you. <laughs> Is this funny to you? No, it's not. I just said Because I can make it funny. I can make it funny to my audience if you want to. The problem, is, the problem is, women don't, the problem is women don't like generalizations. See, women like you like special snowflakes in nuance. But like it or not, all you have to have to make a, a generalization is a majority. A generalization is broad because it has to cover a broad swath. How do you have a conversation about seven plus billion people? How do you have a how do you have a accurate conversation about so many people? Sir, I just said the word. Uh 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 uh. uh, uh. So, sir, ma'am, how do you, you have it? Told me I was inaccurate. You don't like generalizations. You make broad generalizations. Okay, go continue to do it too. Uh, where no, are you from? I, I I'm. I'm. I make broad generalizations. Going to continue to do it, just like I can say. No, I was today, just. I'm saying I did. I'm saying I do. I'm not saying you do. What's your next point? No. Well, I mean, that was. Again, I was just trying to say that. Um, I was just trying to add on to what you were saying earlier. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Mankind causes I, another, problems. Another thing I would ask, right? I get it. Mankind causes problems and mankind also corrects systems. That's what happens. Man, man makes problems. Man corrects problems. Man makes systems and systems oppress. Systems also free. Uh, my question is this. You ready? Because that's basically what you're saying. I'm not... What system works better? Which system are you referring to? Well, it's like you said, people had to fight for stuff. People, people, slaves and women for the right to vote. You can fight for it, but it was still granted a freedom. Systems exist to govern people. People must be governed. Imperfectly, I grant you, but they must be governed. What system would you propose? system of governance since the system of relationships i'm not sure what system yeah. let's talk about a system of governance i mean i like democracies is that what you're referring to We're, i like no. i like democratic system of government uh-huh do we live in a democracy I, sh I think so yeah we live in a republic a democratic republic by the you are ruled by the majority rules the minority is protected representative government mm -hmm. two senators from each state and then people elected to congress based upon the proportion of the population of the city i mean the states it's imperfect human beings don't do anything perfectly so how we got here is I think we have a lot of interesting things. One of the things I love about being the, the leader of the feminist party is I get to look at all the feminists and, and rile them up because a lot of feminists want equality when the, when the feminism ultimately was not ever about equality, it was about choice. So um, if you have any other disagreement, go ahead and make your next point. I would ask about like, okay, so you had said at one point that um, like women should be willing to like during a certain number of dates, they should be prepared to be intimate with the person after a first date or a second date. But then you would say things like, oh, well, you have used vagina. So it's like, which is it? Should I not have a used vagina or should I give it up on the first and second date? Like, I don't understand that. What do you mean you don't understand? Those two things could be the same. Two things could be true. But you made it sound negative. Hold on, hold on. See, you have a problem. You'll talk, and then it's my time to talk, and I start speaking. You start over talking. Why does that? Why is that okay to you? I apologize. No, but I'm going to ask. Is that how? I mean, why is that all right with you? You hear me talking. It's not all right. I'm sorry. And why is this such a big deal? Because our our women just have so little respect for us. They just think they men don't do that with one another. Because men would come to physical conflict if we we treated each other this way. 
Two things can be true at the same time. You should not go out with a man who you are not sexually attracted uh, to a man you would not have sex with. You should go on the first date. You go on the first date to determine whether or not there's chemistry there or connection to where if there's another date, you shouldn't go out on a second date with somebody you are not sexually attracted to and would have sex. Because to men, dating equals sex. So the problem today is women are not being fair dealing. You're not just dating one man at a time. Maybe you are, but most women aren't just talking and dealing with one man. They're de dealing with multiple men and, and, and bouncing around and, and dangling the possibility of sex in front of a man or, not even, or, or just knowing they're not interested in having sex, period. Ultimately, you know what men want is the truth. Are you going out with me because you're really interested in me and want, and want what I want? Are you here for me to actually incense you to be with me? Now, that's the dating notion. That means you don't have to date that many people. You don't have to go out with, on a first date or a second date or a third date with a guy. You get to choose. But like it or not, men don't want women who've been ran through either. No one wants to marry the town hole. Well, that's what I would ask then, because what if it what if what if it is that a person goes goes on a date with somebody and for whatever reason, maybe lack of chemistry or whatever, but then they it's like you're also villainized. Like even if you on one date, you, you get a date, you get a date. Nobody's gonna villainize you for going out with somebody no, that you no you no one's going to villain no no one's going to villainize you. No. Damn. No one's going to villainize you for going out with somebody on a date and you don't have attraction. Guess what? I've gone out with people that I'm not attracted to either. You get a date. We're talking about multiple dates. See, the problem is, audience, women play dumb. And men are tired of women playing like y'all don't know what the hell's going on. Well, I wasn't playing dumb. I was trying to... I didn't say you. I said women. Okay, I didn't say you. I don't know you. I would say, but men are tired of women playing dumb because women do play dumb. You act like women act like they don't understand this. But when it's time to go get what women want, they know how to get it. Is the ultimate question? My ultimate question is this: What do you want from a man in a relationship? Do you want to be married one day? Yes. Do you want children? I think I would have one. Who's helping you effectively sort or vet men? helping me vet men. I guess I have to do that myself. There you go. That's the problem. Ding, 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 ding. I agree. Yep. Because you can't even have a conversation without over talking to man. Good luck with that. Buy a dog right now. Get dog insurance and a chew toy. How old are you? Sorry. I'm 37. All right. So, oh, so what's the dispute? Um, I agree with a lot of the stuff that you say, honestly. Um, but, but, <laughs> uh, I feel like women have a very sacred role in the family dynamic, and to undervalue that is a disservice how do i undervalue a woman's role in the family uh being able to bear life <laughs> that is not something that it comes easy and it's something that's i don't feel like excuse should... me hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on how do i under being able to bear life it's just uh, what you excuse, me, excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me 2021, do women have more children today than they did 100 years ago? No. So were women back then three times, five times better than the women today because they had multiples more kids? I would say they were probably... I, uh, oh, no, ma'am, no, no, no. Based upon... No, no. I want you to be specific. Simply upon the ability to have children. 
If you have three children and a woman had 10, does that make her three times better than you because she had more children? Yes. Or no, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. No. So, so the amount of children, so just because you can have one. So, so you having one makes you just as special as a woman who can have 10. Yes or no? I, yes or no? Yes or no? I, I can't answer that. What yeah, you can. Yeah, question? you can because it's special. If you say it's valuable, then there's a value associated. So if one has mm -hmm. a value, if you assigned a value to one child is 10, then having 10 children has 10 times 10 is 100. Well, so, as, as far as population, yes, it is. It is more. Okay. Yes. So, so is it more valuable? So is it more valuable? Is a woman who produced more children more valuable than a woman who does less children? Can be. Can no, be. no, not can be. See, <laughs> see, see, see this, this is the problem. People, women don't want to. They don't want to be honest. So you're already starting to. Say, no, 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 no. It not can be. No, not can be. It's either they are or they are not. I, I can honestly say yes, but you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm making, see, you won't let me get to my point. So my point is, you say women who make, who make more children are more valuable according to your ability to bear life kind of thing. So no. why? No, that's what you just said, man. <laughs> Y'all see where I'm going with this. No. You see where I'm going with this. You see where I'm going with this. She's already got herself in a trick bag. <laughs> see, men back yeah. in the day, men, men, she already got herself in a trick bag. Women a no. hundred years ago were more valuable than their asses. They had more no. children. They had more children, and they delivered more value. And men back, and men back, th and men back there made less. See, you're not going. You're not going to come at me with this. Because we can bear children, we're special. No, it just makes you human. Undervaluing it. The problem is you guys damn near deify yourself because you can have a baby. That doesn't make you special. You, hold on, you're talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself. Ma'am, the reason why I had to mute you is because you said that I undervalue a woman's ability, of a woman's place in the family. That's not true. I said that giving birth does not make you special. It just makes you human. And today, and today women statistically bear less children than they did even 50, 70, 100 years ago. Those numbers are factual. So that means by virtue of your special paradigm, you're less special than women back then. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, tell me, no, no, based on, no, 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 no. Tell me then, no, tell me, tell me you're more valuable based on the children paradigm you just set up. It wasn't just the children paradigm. No, no, that's though. all we've got to. That's all we've got to. You said I devalued women because their ability to give birth. That's no, all we talked not... about. Nope. But you said I devalued a woman's place in the family because I devalued the ability to give birth. No, I'm saying that's what, I, that's just... what, I hear very well, ma'am. If you don't give me the opportunity to get a, a because you're not going to do an end around, that's what you said. I'm really trying to be clear about it, but I'm not able to speak. Uh, that's what you said. I'm being fair by saying what you said. See, I'm not able to fully express what I was trying to get across. If you're going to say not, something different than what you said, that means you're changing it, your point. It's not something different. I, I'm trying to elaborate on it, but I don't. I don't talk over a man. I naturally don't. Well, go ahead and elaborate on the point of I, how I diminish a woman's place in the family by, by you were, go ahead, go ahead. You, you were talking about contributions, contributions to society, to history, to civilization. And in that way, women contribute life. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. See, that's what I mean. Nope, nope, nope. Exactly not. You try to move the goalposts. We're going to stick okay. right at the family. Nope, nope. You said I diminished a woman's place in the family. <laughs> You're not going to move the goalpost. You're not going to move the goalpost. Stick to the stick to the goalpost. Stick to the goalpost. Stick to the goalpost. A good night. Stick to the goalpost. Stick to the goalpost. A good night. That come on. Stick to the goalpost. Or you just move the goalpost. I'm not going to allow. I'm not going to allow you to move the goalpost. Stick to the goalpost. Or good night. It's not moving it though. You yeah. We're not moving past the family, man. We're sticking to the family. You and said I diminished. Happened. You said I diminished a woman's place in the family by diminishing her ability because okay. I diminished her ability to have children. 
No, no we're not. We're not going into her contribution to society and anything else. We're sticking in the why family not? because that's not the point you originally made. Because you can't win that one. That's why you're moving the goalposts. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're trying to. And that's what happens. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, keep checking his videos on YouTube. He has so much intellectual videos. Videos that expose the modern woman's mindset. Videos that tells you how to deal with women in the modern era. You know, just everything that is supposed to improve your lifestyle, being a dating, being a whatever the case may be, just you're just gonna get it. Sometimes too funny and everything you just need in a good content is always in his content, especially meal improvement, meal self improvement is just somewhere that you just can't find it wrong or something. So keep checking it out. Now, let's talk about the feminist point that this lady came into raised that women were not allowed to vote, women were not allowed to own properties or something. This is stupid. And I think feminism is something that has been able to trick, you know, unintellectual females. Yes, that's just what I can say. Because saying that women were not allowed to own properties, it means men were saying, hey, you make your property, but I give it to me because you are female. No, that wasn't how it was. First, women could not create anything by themselves. Today, women are able to build companies because the world has been mobilized and has been pushed to the extent that, like he was saying, a female can just, you know, wake up 1 a.m. and start to drive to any part of the world that she want or the country that she want because there is no dangers nowadays. But going out of the days, it wasn't like that. It was survival for the strongest. Women could not survive by themselves. They need people to protect them. They need husbands. But today, the world has been fired and patched to the extent that females don't even realize how difficult it is to live as a female is gone at the day. It wasn't the oppression of men, but because women were weak and could not do anything by themselves. But today, men have been able to pass the world to the extent that some women can even come online and say they don't need a man. And especially our black women, they are able to say these things easily. Women were not building their properties and men offering saying, hey, give it to me because you are a female. I'm taking it over. No. Women could not create because women don't have creative mindset. That's reality. And the lady that also came in trying to say, Godfather tried to downplay the roles of women in the family system or something. That's that's not something that he's saying. And talking of women giving birth, I mean, you can't give birth without the man's semen. Men carry life. Females don't carry life. They just carry womb. But they always want to take the big credit for creating human beings or something like they can bring life. You can't bring life without a man. Females are just womb. That's just the reality. They go through the labor to give birth and all that. That is their suffering. But to talk of who played the most important part of something, you can't just, you know, wipe off the name of a man. You can't just wipe off men just like that, just to take full credit. No. We all contribute. I bring semen, you bring whom, we put it together, we bring we, we bring in a kid. But women somehow, some way always try to take, make it look like they are special just because they've been able to give birth or something. Men carry life around, but we can't just run around calling ourselves special because we carry life around. Like it or not, life is in man. Only men carry life, women don't. They just carry womb. But this narrative has been pushed around that women carry life or something. No. No female on the planet carries life around. No. It's men. Now they have created some artificial wombs, which means you can give birth without even female. But can they create artificial sperm? The answer is no. So everything explains you and tells you without men, society will not even just... You know, you can't just build society. Just like, uh, no, both sides are important. I'm not trying to diminish the importance of female or something. But the point that she came in to make it look like women are special just because they give birth. That's the reason why I'm saying this type of thing, to make women realize that, no, even bringing child to life is the 
key person here is the man. Though you carry him or her in your womb for nine months or something. So that was another failed agenda. She came in to push an agenda that, oh, he's always diminishing the role of females in family systems, which is not true. He never diminished anything like that. And the feminists that call in first to argue about women were not allowed to own property and therefore that is the reason why women were not able to contribute to civilization or something like that. See, since women have been given so many rights, it's been at least at least 50 years now. Just why not you pinpoint something that female has done in the progress of society? Nothing. Women don't have that mi mi mindset or that mentality. They just don't. That is one thing that most women don't f fail to understand. Women thinking and male thinking are two different things. If you want to know why women don't have this creative mentality or don't have the mindset to create something, now look at it this way. Women empowerment, women empowerment. Now, females are being trained to be nurses. Females are being trained to be teachers and they are doing it very well. I'm not trying to take credit from them. They are doing it incredible well. Females are being trained to be doctors and all those things. Who is training them and who trained them? It's men. So who trained men to come and train women? Because like it or not, first women were not in the work field just like this. And so it was just men, men, men. So who trained men to do all those jobs? The reason is this. Men by nature have innovative thinking skills. So they are able to create something that is just not in existence. They are able to create those things. Female can't. So when they create those things, then they teach it to females so we are not equal man represent god on the planet that's one thing most people don't know after god's creation it's only man that can create something female can't create anything it's a statement of facts not trying to be sexist or try to be you know against females it's something that is a fact it's factual men represent god on planet and guys that brings us to the end of today's video thanks for watching more respect on the legend the godfather May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Keep checking his video. He has so much intellectual videos on his platform. Video that is just going to make your day. Knowing the mindset of the modern woman. Just make sure you're always checking it out. And make sure you stay out of trouble and stay away from these hoes. They are always coming after you. Until we meet in the next video. Peace. I'm out.